I was younger, I used to watch a show called Sabrina the Animated Series, and although it wasn't my favorite show in the world, I did still really like it. I heard around a 12-year-old girl named Sabrina with magical powers. From what I understand, the show is still kind of popular with kids today, which is kind of strange considering the show only lasted one year, 1999 to 1999. Which even surprised me considering that I didn't get around to watching the show till like the mid-2000s. From what I understand, the show premiered on Toon Disney, but I didn't watch it there. I think I watched it on this TV's cartoon block. Although I may be wrong, it has been a while. Because if I don't, I'm going to get a whole bunch of comments. But yes, this is Lucy based off of the ABC Family Show, which is Lucy based off of the Archie comic book character. And yes, the sister of the live-action Sabrina voices the animated Sabrina. And yeah, I haven't seen the live-action 90s series, and I probably never will because I don't really care to. And no, I don't care how much money you pay me, I'm not going to watch the Netflix version either. So when I was in junior high, I inevitably ended up looking up Sabrina the Teenage Witch just to find out that there was an entire sequel series that I just never knew about. And a movie that sort of bridges the two shows, but makes more plot holes than anything else. I understand that I'm looking into the lore of a literal kids show, but I mean, come on. I was like 12 when I watched this, and even my younger siblings at the time were confused as to what the hell was going on. At least continuity-wise. Green of the Animated series has several original characters made specifically for that show, such as Gemstone and Uncle Quigley, and Sabrina's black friend, who is of course voiced by Cree Summer. Just like every other animated black girl, I swear to god, she's like the Chris Pratt of animated black girls. Anyway, in the two year time skip between Sabrina the Animated series and Secret Life, um, all these characters are gone for one reason or another. His Uncle Quigley just no longer exists in this show, I don't know why. He, he just doesn't exist. Sabrina's colored gal pal has been replaced with another colored gal pal, which is strange. She's clearly in the inferior friend as she's not in on Sabrina's little secret. Gemstone has been replaced by another character named Portia. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, Cassandra. I'm sorry. I confused her with the character from the movie who looks the exact same and is also a witch. I swear to God, I was so confused when I watched the ironically named Sabrina Friends Forever. And I say ironically named because none of these characters reappear even though they're supposed to be Friends Forever. I was so confused when I essentially just saw Cassandra with a different name. Like, either the designers just got lazy or they just legally couldn't use this character. So many things were just off in that movie, like Salem's voice for some reason, which makes zero sense because his voice was back to normal by Secret Life. Also, are we just gonna ignore that Sabrina and Sabrina's Secret Life lives with two teenagers? Like, I get that they're technically thousands of years old, but like, weren't they cursed to be within teenage bodies for like, forever or some shit? I swear that they were like 16 in the original and 18 in this so they could legally own a house, but then even then it's like, wait they wouldn't have aged so wouldn't they still be 16 or maybe they were 18 19 in the original and are still 18 19 years old which is still super awkward when you realize the sabrina is 14 in high school like i'm surprised that when sabrina brings her friends over this doesn't just become a tiktok hype house or i guess mtv hype house i mean this is what 2003 that this show came out in also i read somewhere that these shows are technically canon to the live action one which makes zero sense considering that she only found out she was a witch at 16 in the show but i'm not gonna question internet guy though on that Either way, I do like Sabrina, the animated series, Secret Life, and uh, Friends Forever. I've just been wanting to make this video for like half a decade, and I, I guess I have a YouTube channel now, so I might as well. Yeah, this is not a review of any other shows, it's just like things that just confuse the hell out of me.